I don't know how many people are going to watch this, if anyone, and I don't know if anyone's going to watch Sherlock, but I have recently, in the last kind of couple of months, gotten really, really, really into Sherlock, like really obsessed with it. My Tumblr has become like Sherlock crazy, oh my god, oh my god. And I, um, through watching Sherlock, I fell in love with Louise Brealey. And I, uh, Louise was in Glasgow a couple of weeks ago, um, if anyone doesn't know that. She was in Glasgow doing a play called Miss Julie. And um, one of my friends was going with her friend and she was like, oh, I'm going to go see her. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous, I'm so jealous, I'm so jealous. Can you get me an autograph, please? And her, my friend was like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So my friend took a photo that I wanted signed to Louise and said to Louise, she was like, oh, can you please sign this for our friend Hannah? She couldn't come tonight, she couldn't come. And Louise was apparently really, really genuinely concerned about the fact that I couldn't go and see her in the show. And she apparently told my friend Charlotte and her friend Ailey to tell me that um, it was okay if I came to the theatre and just went straight to stage door and didn't go and see the show. And I didn't have to go and see the show and I could just go and see her and say hello. And I was like, well, now I feel obliged to go. And it turns out that there weren't tickets weren't actually sold out, as I thought they were. So I bought myself a ticket and I went to go and see the show, which was phenomenal. Like, I actually adored it. It was so good. It was so good. Oh, my goodness. The show was fantastic. And so I um, I went to the show and I, after the show, waited back a bit and went to try and meet Louise. And I was like, okay, okay. So I was standing and I said to my friend, I was like, where do I wait, where do I wait? And my friend was like, just stay where you are, it's fine, she'll come out soon, she'll come out soon. So the next thing, I look up and I was standing just next to the bar. And I look up and Louise really was at the bar talking to the barman. And I was like, holy crap, you little shit, how did you get out and sneak out in front of me? So we made a really cute eye contact and she totally knew that I was there to go and see her. So I like crawled over to her and I was like... Give me, can I bother you for an autograph, please? Like, I had no idea what to say to her, and she was just so lovely. Like, I had heard she she was lovely, and I always thought she'd be lovely. She doesn't seem, she definitely does not seem like the kind of person that would be an absolute cock when you meet them. But she was nothing but sweet and adorable, and she was so lovely, and she gave me a hug and thanked me for coming out to see the show. And one of the cool things was that she recognised me from the autograph that she signed for me the day before, so that was really cute, and then. As I was talking to her and I got a photograph with her, which was adorable, and then I went to go home. And the theatre was in a kind of rougher part of Glasgow, and Louise was like, how are you getting home, how are you getting home? And I was like, well, I'm just going to the train station, but I'm not entirely sure where I am, am so I'm just going to run about until I find it. I'll just walk around and I'll find it, it's okay. And she was like, wait, you're walking back to the train station? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. And she was like, you can't do that, it's too dangerous, you can't walk. So she opened her purse, took out money, and gave me money and was like, you have to get a bus, it's far too dangerous, you can't walk. And I was like, okay. And so her friend that she was with, like, directed me to a bus stop and told me that, that all the buses to get, and they were like, it's fine, just get a bus to Central, it'll be okay, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And Louise was like, genuinely concerned at the fact that I was having to walk back to the station. And she gave me a hug and was like, I hope you get home safe, okay? She was like, tweet me, and, like, let me know, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Alright! And I, I thought I was just gonna like hit the floor and crawl out of the theatre. I was like, I was so shocked and I was in awe at how lovely she was. And I always knew she would be lovely and I knew she'd be wonderful, but nothing could have prepared me for how sweet and genuine and kind that was. What she did was just absolutely wonderful. Like, I just. I don't even have words to explain how much it meant to me. Like, I know it's not. It's just something really silly. But, like, it's just, I couldn't get over how kind and so genuinely sweet and caring she was. She didn't know who I was. I was a total stranger to her. I'd never met her before. And she just gave me money because she was concerned about my safety and my well-being. That was two weeks ago, and I'm still in complete awe at what she did. And I have no words to describe it. And I just cannot get over it at all. So I just thought I should make my first vlog about it because it was such a happy moment in my life. And I just thought I should share it with the world to show what a wonderful human being she is. And if you have ever met any celebrities that have exceeded your expectations, then I want to hear about them. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. Tweet me or something. I'll leave my Twitter and my Tumblr and things in the description.